we're in the following part now if i tell you the people that i follow in this country in south africa that uh, preach the gospel there's only one man that i follow that is you know two male channels that i follow that are feasible that are sound the rest of them are females guys the rest of the south africans that give the gospel in this country that are not heretical the two channels that i follow okay home cell uh, sorry yeah home cell in them which is one channel actually it's largely male the mabocho bocho radio hotel and it's wow wow what and i also follow reality tv or church reality check everybody else everybody else that is south african that is giving the gospel online is women and it's like where in the world are the men where in the world are the male disciples of god i mean it's not the men uh sorry women that are preaching the gospel in south africa there are a lot of them there are a lot that you will find online but they are heretically they're busy talking rubbish uh, law of attraction ancestors respect them me this that and whatnot so i'm speaking about sound preachers they're few and far between they're scant there are only only three males that I follow the rest are female from this country and then largely my, the audience that I follow not the audience but the content creators that I follow that do Christian content are largely from the United States of America followed uh, by the by 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 Australia and then the United Kingdom so yeah like there is a problem in this country and a whole bunch of women are rising up speaking baby daddy prophetess Jezebel, you know how she calls herself a prophetess in um, the book of Re in Revelation uh, in the letter to the church at Thyatira there are a whole bunch of prophetesses rising all over Africa yes like it guys and they are flagrant they are liars they are nude in the church they are leading men as three and they are also in churches pastoring them and men are like amen madam preacher what are you doing you're a man what are you doing listening to the preaching of a woman she's not supposed to be standing at a pulpit like that not over men that is africa and then those men that are like all over our pulpits kibo bushiri guys kibo uh who is that random dude that was exposed by the funny commission of what what in this country that is calling out false um uh, activity in the church it's all these prophets that are similar to like benny hin mm -hmm. they slay people in the spirit they cast out devils and they make people gyrate on the floor for a fee they uh, give false prophecy they are basically sorcerers and magicians that are operating as sons and daughters of god it is rife all over africa that 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 kind of like prophetic ministry the tv joshua uh, bushiri ministry it's all over um africa and there are many such trees. so if there are men rising to the occasion to do the work of god they're false they are sorcerers they're magicians there is a part of the dream that i forgot to give you at the end i told you that my dream ended with um who is this with me chatting with this chick with with ali right the white girl there was another end scene sorry uh but it was not part was a uh, another dream after the dream where all of south africa had him and they put a a dark like some kind of cloth. Um, it was the color of it was it looked like the skin of a uh, a lion okay that brownish tannish color and matter it was a cloth and they put it over me and they called me a doctor the clothes that i was wearing it, it was just regular plain doctor clothes i was wearing you know the scrubs that doctors wear in like the or or whatever i was rock and it was powder blue in color and i was walking around in that constitution and they decided to call me a doctor but first they put that what it looked like a dirty cloth over me and then they called me a doctor i'm going to explain that at the end of this too now let's go back to that situation uh where that i was talking about with the women running the show and everything yeah women are the ones that are preaching the gospel and they're exasperated when men rise up to preach the gospel largely they have made a deal with the devil to get a whole bunch of uh people coming to their congregations so they sell their souls to the devil for numbers and they end up doing occult activity inside the church so they these little witch doctors calling themselves believers of the lord jesus christ calling themselves shepherds of god so they scatter the sheep they scatter the sheep of the lord jesus christ and what i saw in my dream were those kinds of shepherds scattering the sheep this woman was baking and i wanted baked goods because i was hungry blessed are they who hunger and thirst for they will be fed and the one person that could feed me did not have enough material like what is this um baked goods to give me they had all been by a person out what was being done there it's like an unfair, unfair, unfair like imagine if you started a business right and this is your product your product is product a and you have a competitor that also has a product but product obviously this guy sells and because products when you are new to the market when you sell them people will taste them test them and if they like them by word of mouth they will continue to spread that product name they will continue to say oh my goodness please buy this from product from this particular uh, manufacturer product a is excellent so an unfair business practice would be where since 
Mr. Product Maker B, since the maker of Product B is like this billionaire, he's got enough money to buy all of your stock to make sure that nobody tastes your stock and so proliferates it. So it's worth it for him to shoot his pocket and lose a whole bunch of money just for the sake of preventing anybody else from tasting product A because then it keeps people out of the market of product A. That's what was happening here. The occult is literally buying Christian content and they are preventing people that would actually hear and respond. Parable of the sower. There are people whose, whose hearts have been made ready to receive the gospel and when they receive it, they bear fruit 30 fold over, spread the gospel out of E, create more laborers in the, car, in, the harvest, in the kingdom, 30 fold over, 60 fold over and 100 fold over. So to prevent the 30 fold the 60 fold and the 100 fold over they buy all the goods so even these guys that are whose hearts are ready to receive the gospel can't buy them i was hungry in my dream and i wanted to eat but i could not buy what was needed in other words the devil has made sure that the country is so bereft with sound preachers there are so few of them that because of few in number he is deliberately causing so much occult activity around the few christians that are giving the true gospel of, of peace to prevent anyone that's actually truly hungry and famished from eating of them and to make sure that when people sorry to make sure that nobody is proliferating this work nobody is pushing nobody is is sharing the work nobody is liking is sharing is subscribing nobody is proliferating the gospel so they buy it all how do they buy it all it is in this occult activity i told you about that ritualistic seance that was being done around the new batch that was newly baked and then the old content not the content sorry well it could be content because it is content at this point in my particular case the batch of goods that was here that the lady could sell was all being bulked in front of the stall that were all very black and in their outfit they were wearing dark clothes displaying that they were either demons or people that operate in the darkness they work for satan occult in, in, in people occult folk are literally buying all of the sound gospel from the few christians that are preaching it in this country that is south africa and in so doing are deliberately blocking sound believers who are preaching the truth from actually giving food to whoever will actually grow in that truth and they are exasperated wearing out the person that is baking the truth so that they won't have the energy to after selling all of their content to these people that are very selfishly like buying the market out they are deliberately blocking her from having energy to basically give the gospel to the one person that wants her to bake goods for her i would know that that is true every time people write me individually in my email every time people write me individually in my in my wordpress account on my contact form when people reach out to me privately i feel so exasperated by all of their questions because i am weary i'm exhausted and for me it's like but my stuff is on youtube go listen to like the thing you're asking me is on youtube i don't don't have time to be personally dealing with your matters with you just you only I can't be decided I'm, I'm exhausted I'm going through a lot I'm inundated I'm exasperated and I already have a batch right now that is also sold out I have to basically sell it to other people go to my main page but they've seen some of my main content and they just have questions there was this one girl that reached out to me and I would respond to her respond to her respond to her but then she just kept on sharing all of these details of her life that are just they're so much information they're in to just unpack and unravel to help her get what god has to say about each situation that i kept on leading her to my videos that where i've I'd covered the very same thing that she's asking me listen literally basically i couldn't give her a personal approach i couldn't personally help her because i was tired I was wiping my forehead, exasperated. And the thing that is exasperating, that is exhausting, is the fact that the, the, the batch of work that I produce every single day, or however frequently I might produce it, it keeps on getting smothered by YouTube shadow banning and a whole bunch of people in the occult that bewitch everything that I do. They are literally like an, an unfair competitor in the market that is buying all of my products so nobody else can buy it and so therefore proliferate it. My work is being bought by the occult. Literally, I am being listened to, but by people sitting in secret societies and occult organizations that are sitting in cold like in front of cauldrons that are sitting in front of amatambo bones people involved in dark arts are listening to my content that december i got an attack i didn't speak about it because i didn't want to get attacked again i got attacked by members of my family for uploading a certain batch of videos even though i have stopped uh sharing my they followed me 
just like that chick that was hovering around my life they followed me to my uh youtube channel because they know the link of it and then i got lambasted and harassed and i was miserable all throughout christmas because of that so people are listening to me it's just not the right ears it's people who are trying to pick a part at me who are trying to break me and in so hurting my platform i mean there are people there's also this activity that sometimes happens when i upload content where people will dislike 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 everything that i upload in order to discourage the youtube algorithm from doing anything better for my content people who are involved in dark arts in darkness in the occult day witches and even just bad mean-spirited people they're the ones buying all my baked goods but they're not getting fed by them they're just removing them from the market they are surveilling me that woman was a woman in my dream that mama wakereke she was surveilled by the occult and she was baking for the occult that are not interested in hearing god's words they are interested in thwarting god's work through the church and when somebody that was genuinely hungry rocked up and wanted to buy she was too tired to deal with them i have personally experienced that the lord has seen all of these things on the ground next part